Hello, I'm Zaki Rashid. Welcome to Matters of Opinion. The U.S. Supreme Court has struck down California's ban on the sale of violent video games to children. A divided court majority said that the law violates the Constitution's guarantee of free expression. In 2005, California enacted a law that imposed a $1,000 fine on retailers any time they sold a violent video game to a minor. The state cited social science studies that showed kids who play these games for many hours are desensitized to violence and become more aggressive in their own behavior. Now, writing for five members of the court, Justice Scalia said video games are like books, plays, movies, expression that is protected by the First Amendment, and the government has no free-floating power to restrict the ideas to which children may be exposed. Violence is part of youth entertainment. Now, Justice Alito said the court majority was acting prematurely in dismissing the possibility that these games could prove damaging to young people. In some of these games, the violence is astounding. He listed an arsenal of weapons used, machine guns, shotguns, clubs, hammers, axes, swords, and chainsaws. He also detailed the injuries that players can inflict. Victims are dismembered, decapitated, disemboweled, set on fire, and chopped into little pieces. Some victims cry out in agony and beg for mercy. There are also games that include reenacting the Columbine and Virginia Tech shootings and the 1963 assassination of President Kennedy, raping mothers and daughters, raping Native American women, and engaging in ethnic cleansing. The ruling is confusing to me. Now, if selling X-rated adult video content to kids is illegal under our Constitution, why can't selling these extremely violent video games to kids be considered illegal as well? In my opinion, we don't need the wisdom of the Supreme Court to tell us what common sense clearly dictates. It's just plain wrong to sell extremely violent video games to children. Their minds are far too impressionable, and no good can ever come of it. Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? You can email me at zrashid at villagetv.org, and you can view and comment on this segment on YouTube if you play Z Rashid in the search box. You can also comment on Facebook as well. I'm Zaki Rashid with Matters of Opinion.